How are you guys today? I'm going to take you through my kitchen, refrigerator, pantry, so you have an understanding of what I'm currently eating now that I'm no longer on the carnivore diet. And as much as I wanted to do a day of eating, it wouldn't really encapsulate every single thing I've been consuming. So I just prepared my dinner for tonight and I'm going to have as a carbohydrate source some white potatoes in the form of french fries and this is about two pounds of grass-fed lean ribeye steak. Here are actually some potatoes that I haven't cooked yet. Those potatoes were boiled in water as well as some vinegar and then thrown in the oven. Alternatively to these white russet potatoes, of course everything is organic. These are the actual potatoes. I have pasta. So I'll have organic spaghetti. This week I've actually been really craving potatoes, but the past three weeks was, you know, that organic pasta, uh, mostly organic spaghetti. Uh, here are just some organic grapes on the counter. Uh, you know, maybe a couple times a week I'll have some organic fruit, usually apples or grapes. This is something a little more recent. Uh, most of the time I'll do some pineapple shakes, but I'll show you guys that in a second. The main type of pasta I consume is higher quality, more expensive stuff like this pasta abruzzes from Italy. This is like four to five dollars. I like it because it tastes really, really good, but the regular organic stuff is fine. Uh, here are some organic lemons that I'll occasionally throw into my pineapple smoothies. And this is organic beef broth that I will sometimes cook the potatoes or pasta in. Uh, in these Whole Foods bags, I bought some uh, coconut milk that sometimes I'll use to make cookies. Uh, this is some more beef broth, uh, some juice. So normally past few weeks, I was blending up some frozen or whole fruit in the blender. Uh, just this past week, I've been having some juice here and there from really craving energy. There's some salt in there too, and this is some more potatoes. Over here is some of the juice that I've been drinking. This was the vinegar I put on the potatoes. Uh, this is the Nature's Glucose that I've been uh, putting in some smoothies with some fruit just to sweeten it up a bit. I'll also use the Nature's Glucose to make some cookies. And uh, this is some cookie dough I made yesterday. What I'll do is I'll take this, I'll put it in the oven. I'll have uh, some chocolate chip cookies as a treat. I've been trying to avoid chocolate because usually I have a hard time sleeping. It makes my skin break out. But uh, from a caloric density perspective, you know, with I'll make these with either animal fat or coconut oil. Uh, wheat flour, it's just super, super calorically dense. So it's good for bodybuilding, it's good for gaining weight. Because if all I eat is steak, you know, potatoes and grapes, regardless of how much I stuff myself with, even, you know, I'm eating this meal twice a day. I'm eating three to four pounds of red meat, you know, two to three, four pounds of starch and fruit too, and I'm still losing weight. So I do have to add things like the cookies and the fruit juice just to maintain the weight when bodybuilding. Uh, I do have some supplements and some various enzymes and antimicrobials here. I'm not really taking that much. Maybe once a week I'll take some vitamins and minerals and uh, on a daily basis maybe I'll take a few enzymes here and there, but not, not nearly as much as I was taking over the past few months. So down here in my garage is looks like a stockpile of supplements like enzymes and vitamins. I don't I think I've gone down here for a month or two. It's just, you know, in case stuff goes crazy with what's going on in the world and I can't get my hands on some stuff I might need, I have some extra down here. And not much in my fridge, just a bunch of steaks, really. So here's some lean ground beef from Frankie's Free Range Meats. Uh, here's some chuck steaks that have probably gone bad because uh, I, don't, I don't like chuck steaks that much. But in, in this crate is what I've been eating. This is some... Uh, ribeye steaks and there's some nature's glucose in here I actually have to take out but mostly ribeye steaks uh, I do have some uh, probiotic juices in here that I haven't really been consuming but what I do have that I'll have maybe once or twice a week is a toddler probiotic and I'll basically just take the whole bottle I'll put it in a smoothie and I'll, I'll blend that up and I'll have that for probiotics Uh, the freezer down here, the only thing I'm really eating from here is this organic pineapple. So, you know, since fresh pineapple is a bit of a pain to ripen it and get it right, you know, I found organic pineapple chunks um, and I've been putting these in the shakes. 
this stuff isn't mine, this is my family. I do have some extra ground beef down here. So if I'm not having the probiotics, I'll just drink some juices when I have some digestive enzymes. If I am having the probiotics, what I'll do is I'll take a, a tablespoon or two of nature's glucose, I'll take some sea salt, some vanilla powder, some of that frozen pineapple, I'll take two organic lemons, and I'll blend that up here, and then I'll strain that out. Maybe I'll show you guys how I make that in a video. And I know I said I wouldn't really explain what I'm doing in detail, but it's a very, very basic, simple, you know, that's obviously why he's doing that. I have the steak, the protein, still eating incredibly large. I'm actually eating more red meat than I've ever eaten before in my life. I'm eating like three, four pounds of steak per day, whereas I used to eat like two or three. And then I'll have the starch as the caloric energy component. And if I need to add more energy calories, again, the juices, we have the fruit, those smoothies are mainly for probiotics. So anyone with somewhat of an understanding of gut health knows that your gut bacteria need to consume carbohydrates. They cannot eat protein. They cannot eat fat. That's why all of these indigenous groups, native Alaskans, whatever, they consume fermented meat every single day because instead of feeding their gut bacteria with carbohydrates, they just replaced the bacteria with new bacteria. So what I'm doing essentially by eating all these carbohydrates is consistently feeding my gut bacteria and you know, some probiotic shakes that I'll do once or twice a week is just to make sure everything stays healthy, that you don't have any fungal problems or dysbiosis. Um, I did get a little bit of acne on my face these past two days, but I just ate way too many of these chocolate chip cookies I've been making because I was too hungry. But uh, these are the foods that have been working for me. Uh, I did forget to show a couple of things in my pantry, so let's just take a quick look at that. Oh, I forgot what's in here. I think it's just some flour. So uh, this is the, the wheat flour that I'll use to make uh, mainly just cookies. I made some uh, beef patties the other day. I just took some flour with some animal fat and then I put the beef in them. Um, this is actually uh, raw macadamia nut oil that I don't really like. I haven't really been using it. And in here I have some mustard and I think that's really it. The only thing I was eating in here is some mustard and this is sometimes where I put my beef broth. Diet's still incredibly strict, incredibly nutrient dense, uh, very high in B vitamins, very high in minerals, more balanced from the copper and the magnesium perspective. And anything I'm missing, I'm, I'm supplementing about once a week. Uh, I would like to get you know, the vitamin supplementing back to two or three times a week, but I'm sleeping a little bit better without doing that. Uh, for the starches, I'm really only switching between organic white potatoes and organic pasta, although I might throw in some rice, some buckwheat, some oats for some variety, but I've kind of been enjoying what I'm doing right now and that's been fine. Uh, for the meats, it's really just been the lean grass-fed beef. I've, I've tried fish, I've tried pork, I've tried a couple other meats, I just don't feel as good eating them. Uh, the fat sources, I'm, I'm keeping the fat a little bit lower now that I'm eating so many carbohydrates, but overall, even though the diet is pretty strict, uh, I feel good right now. Uh, the fruits, I'm okay with mainly sticking to grapes, sometimes apples and pears on occasion. I really do like the pineapple, but it's a bit hard to get my hands on and the quality is really inconsistent. Uh, the nature's glucose, of course, I'm using as a sweetener. Not only am I putting the nature's glucose in uh, the shakes, the smoothies that I'm making, I put it in the cookies. So uh, once we do a day of eating, once I show you guys how I make the shakes and the smoothies and how I do that type of stuff, you guys will get a better idea of, of, of what I'm talking about. So I've probably been doing this diet for about a month now. I've been feeling a lot better and it's looking like I might have to do this for a pretty long period of time. You know, there seems to be two fields of thoughts for my viewers right now. One group just trying to advertise other people's diets and another group trying to guilt trip me into revealing more information so that it can be plagiarized and stolen. And I do understand that um, a lot of people do want my health information and do want my help, but at, at this point in time, it's, it's really, really difficult for me considering, you know, what happened with the Joe Rogan podcast, you know, two weeks ago and how, how it's so easy for people to basically just steal every single one of my ideas without any repercussions. I honestly didn't even want to make this video today. It's just, I'm just tired. I'm exhausted. I have a headache 
and I didn't want to have to write a script and film something else. And uh, this, the scripts I had written weren't really videos I was too comfortable doing anyway. So uh, hopefully this gives you guys some insight to what I'm eating. I'm sure some of the smarter people in the comments can figure out why, although I'll probably remove those comments. But uh, thank you guys for joining me today. Hey, try out what I'm doing. Let me know how you feel. And, uh, and we'll take it from there. Maybe sometime in the next you know, six or seven or eight months when I have a book ready, more likely towards the end of next year, early 2022, uh, I might uh, have a book ready on this new diet as you know, it's not just something I've been following for a month. It's something I've been researching for a very long time, um, pulling up a lot of studies to reinforce it and just getting my thoughts together and collected. But that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, I don't think I missed anything. This is really all I've been eating. You know, the actual amount of foods that I'm consuming are, are very low. I think it's less than 10 or 15 total ingredients. Uh, check out Frankie's Range Foods if you guys want the ribeye steaks, if you guys want the ground beef you saw. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll be able to carry more plant foods sometime in the near future. Although we can't produce them ourselves at this moment. I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video.